Hey guys, this kind of review video is going to be slightly different to what I've done before because I've actually reviewed basically reskins of these weapons before. I've reviewed the Jeweled Eagle Pink before. I've reviewed the Brass Knuckles, which was the very first one that I did. So what this video is, is it's just going to be a comparison between the old and the new and then any sort of reasons if I prefer them or which one is better or why I like one or not. Now first thing first, like usual I'll be going over the damages and to be honest there's not a lot to say about them because the Brass Knuckles have exactly the same damage as the Warmonger Fists and the Jeweled Eagle Pinks have exactly the same damages as the Jeweled Eagle Green Vein. There is no difference between the two whatsoever no matter what range etc yada yada yada. It's only when we start to compare the actual workings of the two weapons that we start to see differences. And the most obvious one is the fact that the Brass Knuckles are actually considerably faster than the Warmonger Fists. And that's both on the left click and the right click. Now the Jeweled Eagle Green, however, has a faster reload than the Pink and, of course, obviously, plus four ammo, which... kind of doesn't make sense, but whatever. Now, to be honest, I think there's nothing wrong or nothing particularly new about the Dual Deagle Green Vein. I think they're re still good pistols. They're still really good fun to use. I like the fact they've added the shine to it. That's nice. Four plus ammo makes it even more <laughs> even more nice, even better. The whole faster reload improves them on that, so you can literally go shooting down people in mere seconds on end. However, when it comes to the Warmonger Fists, I absolutely hated them. Don't know why, just... Well, actually, I do know why, but... The the Brass Knuckles were so much nicer to use compared to the Warmonger Fists, because the problem is, uh, I've gotten so used to using the Brass Knuckles is that I've learnt the timings, I've learnt how fast it takes, I know where I'm meant to be hitting. The Warmonger Fists feel like you're lugging around these slow, bulky, oversized things, and because they're so big, you're often wondering where exactly you're meant to be hitting the person, because they've got the same sort of splash as the Brass Knuckles, which is... Kind of annoying because the models make it look like it should be bigger, but it's not. And it's annoying like that because I'm aiming one place, thinking that I'll hit them, and I don't. Urgh. The Jewel Deagle Greens, if you can get them, they are great to use them a lot because they're still one powerful Deagles, two fast reload, three extra ammo. You've literally got 18 bullets per, per set of clips, and I mean, they're reloading no time whatsoever. Warmonger Fists, if you get them, eh, not so lucky, they're more for show. It's kind of fairly obvious which one I'd go for if I could choose out of the two, but yeah, if you're going to go for either the Brass Knuckles or the Warmonger Fists, go for the Brass Knuckles. If you're going for the Jeweled Eagle Pink or the Jeweled Eagle Green Vein, it's kind of a tough one. I wouldn't spend money on Revive Tokens to get just the Jeweled Eagle Green I would spend money on the Jeweled Eagle Pink Crates and maybe get that instead because although there's no real 100% chance on each, I'd rather get the crates personally. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this quick little comparison vid of the Warmonger Fists and the Jeweled Eagle Green Vein. On Monday I will have the MG3 Liquid Metal or whatever the hell it's called, because it's got a different name in game for some reason. Uh, and then after that, it will be the Combat Axe Royal Dragon, so be sure to subscribe for that. Also, if you check out my Facebook page, I often post kind of recent updates and behind-the-scenes stuff, depending on what's going on, so yeah, be sure to like that and follow that. 